is your government mistreating Ugandans and elite Africans in China? Uh, I don't think so. And uh, I know you are talking about the situation in Guangzhou City. Guangzhou City, the only purpose is to strengthen their measures to curb the spread of disease. Because recently, they found a lot of imported cases from abroad. So that's why they want to strengthen their method. And uh, their new measures result in a lot of misunderstanding and confrontation. And the African people mainly complain the forced testing and the forced quarantine and only targeting them. And uh, today I heard that uh, in order to improve the handling of the new measure, the Guangzhou government has agreed to optimize the procedure of the implementation. That is to quarantine, that is to quarantine and testing all those should be quarantined and tested and let go others. And I don't think uh, it's a torture or racism. And uh, I, I don't think, uh, I don't hope people label the, the what have done by Guangzhou community, uh, uh, Guangzhou government as racism. It's a, it's an issue among Chinese brothers and African brothers. And any issues can be resolved through friendly dialogue. Well, so, Your Excellency, in a meeting that you held with Uganda's Foreign Minister, Honorable Sam Kutesa, and a statement was released last week, I think on Saturday, it says that the Chinese government has gone ahead to put up measures to deal with the problem. Isn't that an admission of China's mistakes already? And uh, to strengthen the measures against the spread of disease is very necessary. Chinese government will continue to do that. And not only to prevent the recover of local transmission, our major challenge is to prevent important cases. And uh, a lot of measures have been taken after the meeting between me and uh, Minister Kutesa. And uh, today, Chinese Deputy Foreign Minister met African ambassadors in Beijing. And uh, the atmosphere of the meeting is very good. And a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, understanding and the cooperation has been reached. As I said, uh, the Guangzhou city agreed to optimize the implementation of their measures. And the, and the Guangzhou city will also help in, uh, extend helping hand to those Africans who are in difficult positions. And uh, some hotels have been designated especially for the quarantining of foreigners, including Africans. And for those who cannot afford the quarantine, and uh, some special economic arrangement has been arranged. All right. And the most important is that, the most important is the communication mechanism established between Guangzhou government and uh, African consulate general and they will meet from time to time. All right, um, Your Excellency, let's talk about the situation of Africans. Yes, you've said that some of them have gotten hotels and the government of China is trying to save the day here through this quarantine time. But let's talk about people whose visas expired but are still in China 
and perhaps want to return home or perhaps um, you know they are stranded they don't know what to do they are stuck are there any measures that the government of china and that of uganda i'm sure that was top on your agenda when you discussed that with the uh, foreign affairs minister sam kutesa on that are you doing anything to help them out and our embassy have reported back the request from minister kutesa and uh, we fully understand some africans overstate their visa or permits. We Chinese, oh, some Chinese are also stranded in other countries. They have the same issues. And I think at such a special situation, every government should give special consideration to this special situation. Are you giving, are you giving any form of security to the Africans who are being thrown out? allegedly thrown out of the different apartments and mistreated. Eh? Are you, you giving again? Are you giving any form of security or protection to Africans who allegedly mistreated? Mistreated? How could they be mistreated? Could you give me examples? Your Excellency I'm sure some of the issues that you discussed with the um, Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa was the plight of Ugandans who are living in China. And you thought, you said yeah. that you are putting in place measures. I was trying to tap into those measures in detail. Can you help us detail for us those measures that China is doing to protect them? I think one of the measures is the financial support. And some people cannot afford the quarantine place. And some people cannot afford the testing. And uh, the local government has made arrangements to support them. All right, thank you so much, Your Excellency, for making time to speak to us.